Okay, I'm trying to harmonize with the music. I'm trying to test the sound while ensuring that you all can hear both me and the game. I'm just going to do this to fill time while I set things up. Testing, testing, sibilant, sibilant. Ah, <sighs> radio. God, we just reinvented radio, haven't we? <sighs> Everything old is new again. Good evening. It is Friday, believe it or not. It is Friday, April 17th, the year of our Lord, 2020. And we return once again to Elsinore. A game of, um... A game of royalty. A game of... Playing. It's a game of playing? What the hell am I talking about? I really should have rehearsed this. Huh. <sighs> I'm trying to find my bearings and set up the chat. <sighs> Tech rehearsal. Tech rehearsal is very important. <sighs> now, if you're all sitting comfortably, let us continue. Previously, in Elsinore, we managed to successfully ch change the timeline by ensuring that our brother Laertes uh, remained here. And um, that's a huge uh, spoke in the wheel of uh, events. Because uh, Laertes spends pretty much all of um, my time uh, in the play absent in Paris. Uh, studying, I think? I don't know what he would be studying in Paris. But... Um, I managed to talk to him about an ex, or rather, I guess a current fling, or maybe more than that, uh, with a maid that we uh, discovered in a very, 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 very um, poorly planned sequence of events. Uh, see the previous episode. Um, but also... Uh, we did manage to talk to the to the main player King, or Peter Quince. I should call him by his proper name, Peter Quince, uh, because he has some information about the play that he plans to perform tonight at the banquet. Anyway, can we stop our boyfriend from killing our dad? You know, and other stuff. Let's find out. Okay, now. I did check the comments last time. I do read the comments, and thank you. And I believe, um... Someone pointed out to me that the user interface is coded so that if an event is taking place, if people are interacting, it'll show up on the map. Each a room where that's happening will be encoded in blue. And that should be reflected. So, hopefully, we can use that and uh, check the timeline to, you know, properly properly plan for things. So is anything in blue? Okay, what's the next thing? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern complete their mission. Okay, uh, Quince demonstrates his theatrical prowess. Right, so Rosencrantz and Guildenstern have the little side quest with uh, Moss Stew, or whatever that is. And um, at the same time that... The important events thing. Okay, we know not to follow Rosencrantz and Guildenstern here. So, okay, we've crossed that out. We can ignore them safely. And in the meantime... I think I want to bug my boyfriend. Hmm. By the way, I should ask, how is everyone uh, seeing the video right now? I know there's been problems with frame rates in the past, and I'm getting some screen tearing on my end. But I'm not sure if that, like, re is reflected in the stream. Um, I have a very old graphics card. Um, oh, did I just trigger a cutscene? No. But we can. Okay. Hmm. What to say to Hamlet? What to say to Hamlet? 
Now, part of me wonders that, um, if I shouldn't treat the to-be-or-not-to-be scene as not some, like, cutscene that I'm swept up in, but as something that I can, um, trigger through my own actions. Um, because I did reread uh, the nunnery scene, um, and we watched it. Uh, by the way, I put a link in the thingy down there, um, to the, uh, Shakespeare's Globe performance of Hamlet in 2018, starring, I've forgotten her name, but she, uh, did wonderfully with, uh, her scene, uh, as Hamlet. Um... Yeah, link down there. It's up there for free. Uh, if you want to see, you know, live theater in the space designed uh, to, you know, be the instrument for Shakespeare's text, uh, by all means. Uh, by all means. It's a wonderful, wonderful watch. Huh. Okay, I am going to meet Peter Quince later on, so I think I'm going to follow that thread. So, um, so I could do that. Or, uh, the nunnery scene might be triggered by, uh, our past discussion. Um, because she finds him, uh, I'm trying to remember her first line, uh, I have remembrances of yours something something. Hamlet. I wanted to speak to you about us. Perhaps it's not too late to make amends? You wish to speak with me? Truly? Let's go. Then let's find somewhere away from prying eyes. The riverbank. Wait, did I do this already? You always were rather fond of those kinds of places, weren't you? Um, a future event in. Okay, if it can happen. Alright, never mind. Okay, I guess that just like, set that up. So. Yeah, we did follow that um, dialogue tree, so is there any way we can, like, if I right-click this, can I, you know, cross it off? I guess there's no... Is there any way to mark quests as checked in this Shakespeare adaptation? Which is a very legitimate question. Uh, I'm in danger. Queen's chambers are locked. What's wrong with Hamlet? Frozen in time. Lady Brock and Hughes. Um... Is that who's? Is that, what is that? Um, Danish? No. Uh, German, Danish, maybe Dutch, Frisian, um, possibly sweet. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Chad, at, let me know. Inconvenient affections. Uh, let me see. The king knows of Hamlet's affections for me. Maybe, okay, maybe it's this. Yeah, because this is the, um, this is the bit of information that Polonius gave me uh, after he saw Hamlet running out of my room. Um, so I think this is, like, you know, the main quest, essentially. So let's do this. Hamlet, I believe your uncle may want me dead because of our history together. Um, okay, maybe maybe not that? Um, dead? I fear he wishes to make a more appropriate match with you. Lady Brit, perhaps. And I... An obstacle to that. Ophelia, do you believe in spirits? The father's ghost appeared and performed me on the dead walls and warned me about this. Okay, no, we are... No, this is not it. This is not the nunnery scene. You told me Claudius was a killer. I believe you, Hamlet. And now you tell me my uncle intends to take your life too. It's almost too much to bear. Who would fardles bear? Just... Stop stop putting your fartles on me, Ophelia. I just can't handle your fartles. Not while I live. I'll not allow him to harm you. This only adds conviction to my crime. I shall do the world a favor. Uh never never trust people who think they're doing the world a favor. I can only see blood ahead of me. For now, let me play the part he expects of me, but soon, Ophelia, he'll be gone. And then he'll trouble you no more, I swear it. For my own sanity, I must find out if my mother knew of this. I have to know if she was complicit, too. How might you uncover that? Her journal. My mother keeps a diary in her bedroom. Every thought. Or... Hmm. 
Hamlet shatters and will not recover. <sighs> Hamlet now wants to destroy King Claudius. Hamlet now no longer... Hamlet no longer believes that Hamlet is paralyzed with inaction. <clears throat> oh, God. Whew. God. Sorry, I need some water. Um, so Hamlet will remember that. Uh, yeah, I'm just so used to, like, a chill game like Skyrim where you can just exhaust dialogue trees and nobody remembers anything. Uh, such a relaxing, relaxing game, Skyrim. Nothing matters. <sighs> Not this. Hamlet now believes Ophelia is on a mission to find Gertrude's diary. Hamlet was murdered. Ophelia's in danger. Okay, um... So, yeah, we may have bypassed to be or not to be altogether. All right, we found this... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, warp whistle. Um, glitch. We found the glitch. We found the way to bypass to be or not to be. Speed run. Speed run tactics. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, future event. Okay. Um, was that a good idea? Um, hmm. It's an idea. Okay, anyway, something... Okay, something's up here. Or I guess this is where, like, Hamlet and I will talk. Or, yeah, let's head here. And on the way there... Um, hmm. I guess it would be possible to speedrun this. I mean, it is a game. It is possible. It is... Just a system of rules that you could break through. My lady. Shall we stroll? Of course. Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> Excellent. We found the dot, dot, dot. Yesterday. I think that's what the uh, voice acting was like, right? Yesterday, I spilled all my secrets to you, my queen. Are you going to return the favor? Hmm. hmm. You want to know about me? Is that so surprising? No, no, I've never been asked before. Hmm. Where to begin? <laughs> when I was a girl in Bohemia, my father, the Emperor, once told me I would be one of the most powerful women in the world. Gertrude is Czech. Um, possibly. Uh, that's fascinating, huh? Gertrude. I, I guess there is, like, a German diaspora in in what was historically Bohemia. Anyway. And he was right. He sent me here to Denmark when I was just a girl. I grew up here, between Copenhagen and Elsinore, betrothed to Hamlet's father. I followed Hamlet everywhere. He was all I knew for a time. The only friend I had. He and Claudius, his brother, and my elder sister, Margaret. My elder sister, Margaret, stayed behind in Austria. She's very powerful now. Margaret in Austria. Oh, dear. Is that who I think it is? Um, with land all to her own and armies at her beckon. History nerds in the chat, go. I suppose this is all a very different life from the one you've lived. I hope I'm not offending. No. On the contrary, I find it very interesting. What became of your sister, Margaret? Do you speak to her still? Yes. Margaret was everything to me when we were young. I loved her. More than life itself. When I came to Elsinore, I wrote her letters every day. And she wrote back. Sometimes. But it was always to encourage me to cease contact. To study more. To love my new country and forget Austria entirely. Eventually, she stopped responding entirely, and I haven't seen her since. I missed her. I still dream of her sometimes, of us, playing as children again. I see. I'm so sorry, my lady. How perfectly awful. I've never had siblings, but I can imagine. <sighs> it is no matter. I all the love I had for Margaret, I have poured into my husband and son. I hope they have... <sighs> appreciated it. 
Ophelia learns about a future event in which Horatio and Gertrude have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Hmm. Horatio and Gertrude, um... Yeah, that's interesting. Horatio and Gertrude I don't don't really have much of a history, do they? I mean, Hamlet is... Um, Horatio is mostly established as Hamlet's best friend. Like, he's, like, the one who... Apologies, but I must go. Um, he's the one... Okay, they're just saying goodbye. Who is tasked with, you know, telling the story of, you know, uh, passing the play on. And, you know, basically implying that he is the one who uh, t puts that tale down for us. Oh. The chapel. Something's in the chapel. Okay, I feel like we have a goal now. We have, like, map markers. I didn't know how to read the map markers in this game before, so... Excellent. <sighs> ah. Interesting. I say, I didn't know you were a Catholic, Bernardo. Oh. Aren't those rather detested around these parts? Oh, this is interesting. Um. Do you mind? I wish to be alone. Please. Oh. Don't mind me. Carry on. Carry on. Terribly sorry. I'll be like a mouse's shadow over here. Promise. Hmm. Ophelia learns more about Bernardo and her ratio. Their character bios will be updated. Okay, yeah, alright, alright, alright. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hmm. Now this is fascinating. Oh, there's more. Well then, what awful thing have you done this week that needs the virgin's forgiveness? Gone whoring? Been reading salacious literature? Caught embedded in a sheep? You're absolute. Vile. I've committed no sins that I know of. Hmm. And yet you come to pray outside of Mass. Why is that? My father. Is Horatio the uh, little finger of the uh, of this game? Uh, sorry, I should explain. Uh, that is a reference to a show uh, called Game of Thrones. Um, it aired on HBO. Uh, from uh, 2011 to 2019, apparently had a large following. Then it sucked, and um, everyone just stopped caring. It was about uh, uh, it was about like cold dragon zombie something, and uh, um, I don't know. It's some bullshit. I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, uh, my father was of the clergy. I like him. Am a man of God in spirit. Seems a waste of time to me. Isn't the whole notion of the Christian God that he knows how you feel regardless? We could be playing cards right now instead. Horatio. Did you come here merely to engage me in your frivolous opinions? Besides, card games are a sin. I ought to refuse your temptations. And Irma's too, for that matter. At least drinking and dancing. Awful business. She always uses the trick deck, anyhow. Ophelia's current event is erupt interrupted by a sudden interlude. Oh! Oh! Damn! Uh oh. That was cruel. What? Not meeting me. Written me off entirely, have you? Right. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I did say I did try to skip that. Uh, I did treat that meeting between us as a something that I could skip. Uh. Damn, I did stand him up. Right. Um. I waited by the pond. I am a fool, after all. I suppose. Like, you won't make a fool of me. Again. Uh, um, 
What? Hmm. Okay. Okay, are these two events happening simultaneously? Um, hmm. Okay, interesting. Hmm, no cards, no drinking, no dancing. Well then, what does your god promise you that's so very compelling in return? Infinite bliss in the afterlife. What, when you're dead? Rotten deal, if you ask me. Yes. Mortal life is but a blink of an eye. As a soldier, I could die any day. But heaven is eternal, and I will sit at God's side. Hmm. Now that sounds like a slightly better wager. There's more. Okay, good. Do you not speak to the Lord? Are you truly so uninvested in his word? Hmm. I don't care much what your Christ has to say. Though, he seems kind and tented enough. Where I come from, we have hundreds of gods. <gasps> hundreds? You're a heathen? That's correct. I am a heathen. I've heard my devas and asuras. Some wisdom here, a little trickery there. Gods with real... personality? <sighs> oh. suppose we've little to say to one another, then. Let's speak no more ill of any gods, especially in a church. Such a shame. I do so enjoy discussing this lily-faced, bearded, fatherly lord of yours. But as you wish. I'll leave you in peace. No comebacks? Um. Okay. Yeah, pause. Okay, let's process that. Huh. Um, hmm. Okay, processing, processing. I stood Hamlet up, um, because I forgot that this is a game about relationships and, uh, I, and that I normally could just, you know, skip it. I don't know. Hopefully there's, like, a skipping thing. Or maybe there's, maybe it's different every time? Uh, maybe it's different every time, and, um, hmm. I could have done that, but... Whatever, it'll be different in the next save. Uh, but anyway, fascinating. Uh, because uh, I was fascinated by just making the uh, Catholicism in this game so explicit. I said game, but... Play. Play. It's a play. It is both theater and a video game. It's a play. I can... I can okay, play. I should stick to that. Phew. Um... One thing I never really talked about uh, with Hamlet is the theology of it, uh, you know, which is worth talking about. It is a play about death and the afterlife, and um, meeting a, a ghost. Meeting a ghost plays a huge part of it. Um, uh, naturally, now this is important for a huge reason. Um, because in uh, 16 whatever whatever 01 02 03 about that time that's the herald's horn something's happened listen to the announcement no not now i'm busy okay yeah uh okay we can come back to that um where was i protestant reformation queen elizabeth um protestant queen um fiercely uh, persecuted Catholics in her own country, uh, of which there is plenty of evidence that Shakespeare was one. Um, and uh, so the discussion of Catholicism um, would have been a huge political issue at the time. I mean, so many... It was a religious war. It was it was the cause of terrorism. Um, I mean, the Guy Fawkes incident is uh, an indirectly referenced in, the, um, in Macbeth. Uh, just for one example. Um, but anyway, there are so many hidden references to the way uh, life is ordered that Shakespeare works into these plays. Because Catholicism isn't just, you know, um, 
I believe in this god or that god. It's a daily ritual. It's, um, it's the prayers that you do. It's the holidays you observe. It's the feasts that you have. And, um, and the icons that you place. It's, it's something that you, you know, do. It's a practice. Um, uh, which works well in, in theatrical settings. Um, so meeting a ghost, particularly a ghost who is in purgatory, uh, for an audience that is caught between Protestant and Catholic ideology, um, is a really loaded image. Because purgatory is a uh, part of Catholic doctrine. It's something that was uh, created by um, by the Catholic Church uh, sometime in um, uh, the first millennium. I have no idea what, what century. But uh, it's not in the Bible. And Protestantism, a big part of the uh, push for that, was uh, increased literacy in Europe because of the printing press and all that. Hmm. Actually, resume game. Actually, let's keep an, a, t a menu opening, and that might be uh, that might be more visually interesting. Now, so meeting a ghost from purgatory, and having his existence be the central, like um, you know, dramatic plot point of uh, of this play, um, really ties into it. Uh, I mean, it's based on an old Danish legend, like uh, that goes back to uh, like the Viking era. But um, having that, having that being framed as in purgatory specifically, um, put before Hamlet, who remember is a student. Uh, he is a student at the University of Wittenberg, um, where Martin Luther uh, was. That where he nailed the ninety-five theses um, to the door. God, I went to a Lutheran elementary school. Uh, oh, what's that? Unlike, unlikely event. Horatio and Gertrude have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Okay, anyway, now I know what that is. Um, but having the existence of the ghost be, you know, a figment or of imagination or an actual manifestation of Catholic, I, Catholic dogma, um, really interesting aspect. That can um, that can be staged in many many different ways, and in many many different uh, metaphorical ways, too. Now, one thing I've been thinking about um, is how so much of the play is about. Let's see, go to the chapel. Is about watching other people. And um, one version of Hamlet that I hadn't seen for a long time because it was. Why they considered like one of the weaker ones, um, the Bad Sleep Well by Akira Kurosawa, um, which is very, very, very loosely based on Hamlet. Oh wait, shit. Oh wait, pause, pause, because uh, I want to finish this Bad Sleep Well tangent before I uh, lose track. But this is definitely, definitely fear not to be. We found it at last. Phew. Um. The Bad Sleep Well, it's Hamlet as film noir. Like, it was made in the 60s. It was made, um, like, in a time when a lot of American films were being shown in Japan. And, you know, like, uh, like in France, the Japanese were doing their own, like, localized take on those stylistic choices. Uh, the biggest stylistic choice that happens in The Bad Sleep Well, uh, which is fascinating to me, is that it starts, um basically in the middle of the story. It starts with the murder of Gonzago, essentially. It starts with the performance that um, Hamlet stages to determine the guilt of, uh, of the murderer. Um, in, the, in, the, in the Bad Sleep Well, it takes place in, the, um, in like this uh, Japanese corporate salaryman uh, culture, um, so, like, it's a corporate, uh, merger, and, uh, Hamlet's father was killed for, like, you know, economic reasons. And, uh, it starts with a huge banquet with people, like, introducing, uh, the king, the, the king, the CEO, but let's, whatever. Um, and take, talking about all of his accomplishments, and then, uh, someone brings out a cake, a cake shaped like 
the uh, main office building where this uh, his company is uh, located, with a single rose in one particular window. And it was the window that Hamlet's father supposedly leapt from to his death. Which is also the uh, Criterion cover. So, uh, yeah, the bad sleep well. Um, uh, but in that, Hamlet does, you know, use the ghost because he finds someone else who is um, uh, put to his death by the CEO, by the Claudius analog. Um, but instead of, you know, having it be, you know, a ghost, by having it be supernatural, he stops him from, you know, killing himself because he manipulated it into suicide, uh, and just brings him around, him around, manipulates him, and stages these scenes where he just stands across the street from the CEO walking home from, from work. So he thinks that he has seen a ghost, so it has, like, Macbeth-ish, uh, connotations. But anyway, uh, the staging of the ghost is a very fascinating thing that to explore. And uh, I'm really excited to see how this game in particular uh, stages that. Especially because it turns out Horatio is a, a Hindu, which could be fascinating. Anyway, um, to be or not to be, I guess we gotta do this. I, I have been looking forward to this. For a long time. Let's be or not. Whether it's nobler to, to find... Okay. You missed the first line. To be or not to be, that is the question. Y'all know it. Y'all love it. Y'all hate it. Y'all ignore it. Uh, the great film critic Michael J. Nelson once called it the verbal equivalent of... Dun 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 dun. But anyway, we're here at last in part four, finally. Whether it's nobler to try and suffer through the pain or turn our backs to all of it and welcome the inevitable embrace of death a little earlier. <clears throat> to die. Okay, I, God, I almost like launched into song there. <sighs> um. My Gerard Way impression needs work. And my voice is shot tonight, anyway. To die, to sleep no more. And by sleeping, I mean to end the heartache, the thousand little pains I have to bear. I wish I could just... die. Sleep. Sleep and maybe dream. <laughs> that would be it. Who knows what I might dream of in death. Um, skipped a bit, all right. Um, you know, who would Fartle's bear, uh, make his quietest make with a bear bobkin, uh, uh, coward stuff make conscious of its all. You know, uh, I'm a, I'm a chicken for not killing myself. You know, all this stuff. I mean, yeah. okay, fine. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. What do you think? Ophelia in italics. Hamlet, I can't listen to you go on like this. Not anymore. Hi, honey. I was listening. Oh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> Not anymore. It was very, it was very good. Oh, wow. You are just in time. Hi. I say hi to the chat. Hello, chat. It is Jordane. Hey, it's my fiance. Um, you came in at the... Uh, at the perfect time. <laughs> we are live. Mm -hmm. uh, we're live and we're doing the to be or not to be s scene. Oh, wow. Ophelia's black. That's nice. Yes. Uh, yeah, so is her brother Laertes. Uh, her dad's white. Uh, Polonius is white. I mean, sometimes you gotta have a white dad. You gotta, you gotta throw in a white dad. I mean, it happens. Yeah, yeah it happens. You, can't, you can't avoid them. Yeah, it must suck to have a white dad. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Dad. You've been nothing but supportive, and, you know, uh, uh, love you. Shout out to my dad and to my whole family. Um, anyway, uh, you came in at the To Be or Not To Be speech, so anyway, I was just reading To Be or Not To Be as Hamlet. Well, don't let me stop you. No, oh, honey, honey, please, please. What's up? What's up? 
No, this is perfect because this is, you're exactly, you're doing exactly what Ophelia did. You're just, please come in. <laughs> Actually, you want to read for Ophelia? Uh, sure. What, do, do I need to read yeah. that? Uh, let me um, grab my phone. I'm reading my, the chat off my phone. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Hamlet, I can't listen to you go on like this. Not anymore. There's still things of yours in my room. I'd prefer you take them back. Honest as always and ever so naive, I loved you once for all for those very qualities. I believed it. You shouldn't have. Then I was the more deceived. You'd be better off as a nun. You'd make an excellent nun, you know? Don't involve yourself with men like me. We're all alike. <sighs> Deep down. Someday, some man will crumple you like a flower underfoot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. However you want to interpret dot, mm. dot, dot. <laughs> there was a lot of heavy lifting done by the ellipsis and this kind of like visual novel sort of thing. Anyway. I love how she has headphones around her neck, just, yeah. like, just like I do. <laughs> yes. Uh, I relate a lot to this this uh, this story. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you're... Maybe we should do away with marriage altogether. No good is ever comforted or ever will. <clears throat> Sorry, that was a... I was getting, I was a, my, getting my wine on. <laughs> you were a fool if you truly believed me. Ophelia, I never loved you. I don't believe that. I don't even think he believes that. But he's in a fit. Mm. Uh-oh. Ophelia. Ophelia, a word in private, please. Hmm. Hold up, one second. Uh, chat? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, no... Anyway, uh, that was Jody uh, Drenade Searles. Follow her on all of the things. Um, hey, chat, how's it going? Uh, are we uh, refreshing? Are we live? <laughs> mm. Let's see. Uh, some, sorry, just, uh, checking to make sure that we, um, had, we're, we're refreshing. Good, good, good. Okay. Live theater. Live theater. Uh, anyway, that was the nunnery scene, truncated and, um, CW-ified, essentially. Uh, basically, I've had a, a take in me brewing about the CW-ification of popular culture, just that whole brand, that whole network of, um, and how it's handled, like, so many, like, uh, pop culture franchises. Um, anyway, uh, that was the to be or not to be speech, uh, performed with my actual fiancé. Um, Hamlet needs therapy. I mean, Hamlet's, the real tragedy of Hamlet is that he was, uh, he was killed before Freud, before Freud was born. <sighs> You know. He's dead. I can scarcely believe it. I just wish I knew what father would say. I... I never thought I'd make it this long. I... Who's dead? Everything was so dark for so long. I couldn't feel, couldn't think. All I wanted to do was die some part of me still does I know. I know but now you've got to make the hardest decision of your life where you go from here now that you've chosen to live hmm. I think I already know you spoke earlier to me of revisiting things seeing them through new eyes is that still something of interest to you Revisiting our relationship, you mean? Yes. Do you want me still? I was vile to you. 
I knew it even then. I've done things to you that would shame my father, but he's, were he's still alive. No amount of apology can ever remove what I've done to you, but despite all that, I am deeply, truly, eternally sorry for things I said and did to you. And if you can find it in your heart to ever think of me with affection. Hamlet. What you did to me was wrong. You tried to wound me with everything you had. You came after me again and again, and it hurt. I don't know that I can ever trust you again after that. Or whether you deserve my trust. Oh, what a noble mind is here or thrown. How noble was he ever, though? Yes. You're right. With my uncle's passing, I have come to believe in a world of fundamental justice. Justice for all who have been wronged, including you. And in a just world, I'd treat you as my partner and better for the rest of our lives. The mistakes of our past teach us where those whom we love deserve to be. And you, you deserve to rule Denmark at my side. You'd be a magnificent queen. I've always said as much, even in my cruelest moments. Have you? Uh, n nunneries are the opposite of queendom. Um, <clears throat> Please. can you share that vision with me? Can you trust me again? Can you trust yourself? <clears throat> mm. <sighs> oh, dear God. Uh, mm. Rekindle my relationship with Hamlet. Yes or no? Oh, God. I just. We've come down to this Boolean choice. We've come down to this, like, telltale games, like, um, you will be judged. Clam will remember this. <laughs> Join me, Padme, and we can remake the galaxy. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Basically, I mean... Uh, there's a lot to be said about Hamlet's, like, place in the canon of, you know, great, like, tragic heroes who are, like, swayed by this, like, tempestuous emotional life and how that... It's in some form was like sways them. Anakin Skywalker totally being one of them. Um definitely. And yeah, a lot of characters on the CW. Uh all of Oliver Queen. All of the Oliver Queen ripoffs. Um The Arrowverse. That was the name of the franchise I was trying to name. Uh bleh. Whew. Anyway. I guess now we've come to this point in the play where, um, what do you think, audience? Hmm. Let us hear it in the chat. Uh, Y for yes, uh, and for no, simple enough. Uh, just by applause, just by sound. Whew. Because this is difficult. Hmm. We should... <laughs> Hamlet isn't trustworthy. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, I don't think he is. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of whys. Uh. Huh. I'm shocked by the number of whys. Okay, uh. We have one very, uh, vocal, uh, N. Like, a lot of Ns in a row. Hmm. Okay, feeling sadistic, so why? Okay, y'all want to see me lose. Okay, we're... <laughs> yeah, uh... I think we're gonna trigger the bad ending. <laughs> I, I was... I was really looking forward to, like, talking to... <laughs> to Peter Quince about his play. I would love to talk theater with him. I mean, I don't know much about the, uh, the lead writer, but, um... I'd love to know if she's, uh, like a theater, um, academic in some way. Anyway, let's, uh, let's make a bad choice! 
Hmm, your mother would be thrilled, I'm certain. So? Your answer? I don't forgive you, Hamlet. Not yet. But I suspect something in me misses you, after all. I... <laughs> Why are you crying? Isn't this what you wanted? No, no, it's, it's not that. These last few days have been... These last few months have been... A living hell. I mean, two sulfurous and tormenting flames have I, you know, not almost been, but you know, almost, but... I couldn't agree more. Are you afraid of what comes next? More than I've ever been. No one is certain what the chain of command ought to be. Chain of command. Yeah, I guess... It is a political situation, as well as a personal one, that compounds it. Hmm. I intend to take advantage of that ambiguity. It's time I sat the throne. What's your plan? don't have one. Not yet. If only there was someone who could give me advice. Help me through this. Oh. Hmm. I might have some ideas. Hmm. Wait. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Will I see you tonight? <laughs> don't be afraid, Hamlet. The future belongs to you. Why? That is really unfortunate phrasing. Mm. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta get on a soapbox. Uh, Ophelia, I don't know how much of the news to pay attention to, but uh, you have this guy, you know, wealthy, wealthy kid, a lot of uh, political power behind him. He's really into some dark stuff, into like some edgy stuff, into a lot of uh, edgy, like, you know... Not emotionally healthy stuff. I think it's like a more direct way of saying edgy. But you see him wearing that hoodie. <laughs> and you encourage him to follow his dreams towards political power. And tell him that tomorrow belongs to him. Um, yeah, guys, chat... Guys, gals, non-binary pals, we have triggered the bad ending. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, next on the streaming list, Wolfenstein. Allow me to put, <laughs> allow me to put thought to action on your behalf. Until we meet again, don't know where, don't know when. <sighs> Ophelia acquires the information, making a king. Mm. Oh, Hamlet and Ophelia now believe that Ham. Okay, we now both believe that we are in a relationship. I love this phrasing. We don't. We aren't in it. We believe it. You know. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna talk about um, the kind of uh regime he's going to set up and who is going to be punished under his um application of state violence uh, the prince's ambitions yeah i guess hamlet's only ambition is to die and until it's to kill <laughs> no no we got we got to see the ending i want to see the cutscenes we are steeped in blood so far to um Whatever it is from Macbeth, you know, we're, we've gone this far, we can't turn back, we're just in the... Oh, wow, Hamlet is... Okay, I it was on the screen briefly, but... Anything else to say that? He was red and uh, shattered. There's an emotional state in this called shattered. The courtyard. Laertes, Lady Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Okay. Yeah, this is part of the big change that... Um, that we've uh, we've set in motion. 
then we can over here. Now, Laertes, our brother, should be in France. He is not. He is here, and he is talking with people. <laughs> the dark work begins, says the chef. I think Hamlet's being simply terrible. He really is in some sort of state. He's suspicious of us. He must know what the king asked of us. Or maybe, do you think he's still upset with me about the way things ended between us? I thought you handled yourself like a perfectly godly woman. He couldn't be upset. Me? Godly? Well then, I suppose... Wait. Did we... We heard this before. Now that you mentioned it, though, perhaps we ought to speak with Hamlet. Or we could do what would be the best of oil men. Yes, we did listen to this before, but now our brother's here. Now our brother's here, so bring the wine, find a little grassy patch somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. All right, all right. Scene one. Was that anything? Oh, no, damn it. Laertes. Okay, I'll just, like, leave that automated. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to follow Laertes, and if he moves, I'll move. All right, it's dusk, and um, I should be watching the map for the Great Hall. Uh, something's happening in the gallery. That's probably, you know, uh, Lady Rose against and Lady Guildenstern just, you know, doing their cookbook adventure. Um, so I think, coming up soon, uh, it should be, yeah. That's, uh, 06. Wait. Hold up, is it, okay, wait, 24 hour clock. Uh, <laughs> I never thought about this. The murder of a Gonzago is taking place at 6 in the morning. Um, hmm. Does it take place in... Is that every, um... Everything? The actual prowess. A Saturday, 6. Complete their mission. Yeah, that should be, uh... That should happen in that timeline, but... Huh. No, no, it happens earlier. Huh. Or is that Friday? Hmm. Did we just push it back? Hmm. Matinee showing. All right, predicting the future. current loop. Anyway, I guess there's nothing to do now but uh, wait until the next showing, and that should be soon. It's uh, six. No, it's um six p.m. Hmm. I'm sorry to open up the timeline. I just closed it, but uh, okay, we're here. Okay, they're in the woods. Something's happening. Wait, what's happening in the gallery? Something's happening. Something is happening in the great hall. Let's. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's in, let's not dilly dally. Let's actually use our time here. Oh, is I'm alone. Oh, I wonder. This massive fireplace. It's kept burning by the servants day and night. It's the true castle hearth, I suppose. Quince? Oh? Hmm. I do want to talk to you about theater. Yeah, let's talk to you about theater. I want to... Hmm. No. We can't... No, we can't do it until he actually does it. Damn. Um, Mysterious Queen Astrid. I think that leads to, like, you know, him being cryptic and obnoxious, dragon nightmare. Bernardo has summoned you. Bernardo has requested your presence, a private meeting. My father's murder, frozen in time. <sighs> Ghost in Elsinore. Hmm. Wait, actually. Oh! Oh! Welcome, one and all. Wow, okay. Um, private showing. Thank you for coming, lords and ladies. I, your humble playmaster, have arranged a most magnificent show for you tonight. And with many ch ch ch, -ch changing faces. I don't know why I did the Bowie reference, I just went with it. I aim to please all who look upon me. So, without further ado, a surreal tale of destiny and circumstance. The Goat's Song. 
Huh. Interesting title. Goat. Uh, okay, like, my, my symbolism brain is, like, just immediately thinking about the symbolism of goats, because that, like, is relevant. Uh, ask me how later. Not now. Maybe this is the play he was meant to perform here before Hamlet got to him. Okay, yeah, something happened. Something happened in this timeline, and I didn't see it. Because I wanted to go on a tangent about something. Hmm. Oh, well. Or perhaps it's something else entirely. But where is everyone? Ladies and gentlemen. In the certain kingdom of a certain... Da. Da ha ha. Ah. Warm up. I fluffed that line. In the kingdom of a certain Lord Gonzago, there rests a terrible predicament. Every morning he wakes up and, like a good ruler, attends to his duties. I really hope this received pronunciation isn't that obnoxious. I apologize in advance. Yet every night, when he goes to sleep, he wakes up on the very same day once more. The poor king reflects upon his situation. Mm. I am trapped here! It seems for worse or for ill. Ooh, a different avatar. That is excellent. Oh, I love that it's a different mask. And I love the, the craft into it. I wonder if he like has multiple masks. I wonder how varied they get, or if it's just like tragedy or comedy. Anyway, theater nerd in me got triggered. Anyway. I am trapped here, it seems, for worse, or for ill. Doomed to see the day, doomed to see the same dawn a thousand times or more. Uh. But what ails you, my lord, my love? Oh, okay, this is interesting. Because this isn't just like a comedy or tragedy mask. This is like a more neutral face. This is like more no theater here. But anyway, okay, I'm glad... We discover this thing. What ails you, my lord, my love? Uh. Fret not, my dear Baptista. I could not make you understand. I could not make you understand. As the years pass, and yet pass not at all, madness overtakes him. No matter what I try, when I open my eyes again, there my wife lies beside me, as peaceful as a lamb. Unaware of the pain I've suffered, the madness I've endured, caught between life and death. I know what you're doing. Well, I should hope so. Couldn't be more blatant if I tried. And what are you trying to achieve with this? My dear girl, I do every everything I do in this world is but a pathetic move to entertain myself a little before death eventually gets me. Isn't that true of all human beings? Isn't that true of you as well? <sighs> what do you think, audience? Yeah, okay. Alright, it's one of those. Okay, fine. Hmm. <laughs> Cool. Fine. Entertainment? You call this entertainment? Oh, maybe not for you. Certainly for me. But I think the show's rather over, isn't it? What a disappointing performance. I didn't even reach the beautiful conclusion. Ophelia acquires the information, Mysterious Playmaster. Busy. Okay, is there more? Quince. Talk. I'm in danger. Um, hmm. No, I guess that's... Okay, fine. A cutscene. And how much time do we have until... that? Hmm. Whew. I mean, meta-theater is part of the play itself, so... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, game recognize game, play recognize play. I hear ya, I hear ya. Um, anyway, it is the top of the hour. I don't want to end it just yet because 
I promised myself that I would actually watch the performance uh, before before the next stream, before uh, the Monday stream. So let's go forward into the past! Uh, no, that's the wrong button. <laughs> How physics work. Uh, Marty! Mm. And I am out of water. I need a larger, um, flask of water. Oh. Okay, something's happening. Uh, okay, Great Hall Royal Gallery. Is it starting? Theatrical prowess in the travel to room. All right. I know Father ought to perish Friday evening by Hamilton's hand, but circumstances have changed. Could it be? Could I have actually saved him this time? All right. I feel as though I need to see him. Huh. Father. Okay, we got to do this first. Uh, I guess we're going long tonight. Is uh, everyone okay with that? <sighs> see, I need a I need a hard out by uh, ten. Personally, I have a previous engagement. Um. A streaming session. You know, we're watching a movie together. So, let's wrap this up. Father. Ah. My heart. Come in. Thank you. You told me from most troubling thoughts. <clears throat> no, no. Wrong voice, wrong voice. What have I done to warrant a willing visit from my daughter? <laughs> Whatever it was, I hope I can replicate it for future visits. <laughs> Father, I can't believe you're... You long been thinking the same. What were you thinking about before I came in? You looked worried. The sorts of idle things an old man dreams about when he begins to contemplate the end of his life. Namely, your mother. Was she still here? What'd she think of me? Of the way she'd... The way I've lived my life? Oh, there it is. There she is. There's a portrait. I'm so glad to see that. I've served the throne faithfully for so many years. Sometimes I look around and wonder what all this unflagging allegiance is worth. And I wonder if your mother would be proud of the way I've raised you and Laertes. Or if she'd wish we'd left Elsinore long ago. I know she'd be proud. You've done everything you could, Father. You know, Ophelia, sometime in the future, I've been thinking I ought to take you summer. Out some... Outside of Elson... Uh, 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 lines! Uh, words, words, words! I've been thinking I ought to take you to summer somewhere outside of Elsinore. Sorry, I had to boot up! <clears throat> Not now, but perhaps in a year, but if we made you a suitable match and you were intended to be wed. When this Norway nonsense passes and it's safe out there for you, you, I, and Laertes will leave these walls a small while. That does sound nice. I, I know it doesn't make sense to you now, but I, I'm glad you're alive and well. I thought I'd lost you maybe forever, and I was so scared. I. Uh, upstaging game <laughs> oh, Polonius EXE has encountered a problem says the chat thank you thank you uh, no flattery no flattery and I'm not going anywhere not for some time yet at least it is time. unfortunately for now I must ask you leave me be I have some rather distasteful planning I need to complete and some duties to attend to and I'll leave you be, Father. Ophelia? One last thing. If I ever... If something like this happens again and I don't survive, I want you to have something of mine. It's a key. It opens a chest in this room and contain, containing my most private belongings. Ooh! 
I keep it on me at all times. Okay, damn it. Okay, we're going... We might go really long. Uh, we keep opening up these new avenues. This chest cannot be opened by any other method, so don't bother exhausting any other dialogue trees. Thank you, game. Contains things which could be cause people in this castle no small amount of grief if uncovered. Okay, if it's if it's something I already know, like, you know, um... Claudius being murdered. Oh, wait. Hmm. I've never considered that... That consideration. I've never consider, considered the idea that Polonius knew about the murder. Okay, that is... That would be a fascinating wrinkle in this. If, if, if... Again, um, we don't know. We don't know. Ooh. <sighs> Drama. If I ever perish, I want to... you to take the key from me. To open this chest and burn everything inside it. Do you understand me? Okay. All right. He's safe in this world, but he won't be safe in the next one. In bold. Okay. He will drop loot in the next, uh, in the next loop. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, the chat asked if we keep the key. No, I don't think we're, I don't think we're operating on, like, braid principles. Um, no, I think it's a prop. I gotta, I gotta treat it like a prop that we have to move around. Of course, Father, if that's what you want. I understand. Farewell, love. Sweet dreams. I did it. Father is alive and well. Checkpoint! Though it was not without a price. But at least for now, my father is alive. That's what matters. I'm not going to be able to save father every time, I know that. There is so much that needs to be done. Hmm. Now, um... I'm trying to think how exactly I saved him. Um, or rather, I guess I think I saved him. I guess it should be the important thing. I think I saved him. We won't know until for sure. Do not count your chickens before the fat lady rises. Before dawn with the red sun. Uh, and his death is only one small part of my nightmare. Okay. But no matter the cost, being able to change his fate this much. It's a victory, albeit a small one. Now, was that through our, inter our interactions with Hamlet or our interactions with Laertes? I'm guessing Hamlet, uh, because we changed his mind about, you know, action. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess so much of the, uh, the, the play involves, like, Hamlet, you know, debating whether or not to do something instead of, you know thinking it through calmly. It, it, anxiety. It's anxiety, essentially. Even so, I won't live much longer now. Unless I find a way to stop whoever's killing me, Father and I can never survive together and live on. I'll just be returned to the beginning again, again, and Hamlet will still be a threat to Father's life. Okay. This might be automated. This might just be, like, um... the text we get when we've, like, saved one character. Got to find someone who believes me about this assassin so I can plan further. Hmm. All right. Excellent. Now. Laertes. Okay. Um, hmm. This isn't the timeline where we walked in on him and this is the timeline where we walked in on. Let's make it more awkward before the play starts. Um, Quince, okay. Oh, okay, there's gonna be a scene between Horatio and Quince. That's gonna be interesting. Welcome. So good of you to come. I, I do so love this gallery. King Claudius may be a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a there are even type-printed copies on these shelves. There's something so relaxing about a deep, bloody drama. Yo. Not me. I prefer to read happier tales. Boring. 
Stories can be beautiful without being happy, don't you think? Ain't that the truth? Here, Ovid's Pyramid of Thisbe, the greatest love story ever written. For now, of course, until some half-rate bard steals and replicates it. I see you. I see you, game. Oh. Alas, only death could take you from me. Therefore, let us not be parted by death. Two young lovers so deeply fallen into one another that they'd rather die gruesomely than live apart. What fun. Don't you think that's beautiful? You have a funny definition of beautiful. I'd rather see them alive and well. Oh, he's that kind of... Oh, he's a joker person, isn't he? Death is never the ideal solution, not for me. You're a woman all about solutions, aren't you? I knew you were a bright girl. Unfortunate things happen to bright girls in this world. Why? Did you ask... <laughs> did you really ask me to come here, Quince? What do you want? Indeed. What do I want? A larger question for another world. But for now... I'm going to give you the ability to change the content of the play I perform... Beautiful! Ha! <laughs> if you have any juicy gossip you'd like to see on stage, you need only ask. Oof! This is an excellent development. We... We can hijack the murder of Gonzago. Uh, we can make it the anything of Gonzago. Um, I think Gonzago is just going to be, um, whatever the hell we want it to be. This is beautiful. The mouse trap can be just anything. Awesome. <sighs> Mechanic unlocked. That's all. What do you mean, that's all? Don't you realize what this is? Me? What more were you expecting? I do, Lady Ophelia. <laughs> Ophelia can change the play. Excellent. Okay. All right, they're doing their bullshit. Anyone up? Um, hmm. Cool. Now. Can we finally see the play? Now, let's see where our endpoint is. The endpoint, unlikely event, unlikely event. Uh, when, hmm. When's the hard out? I guess, I guess it's like, it'll happen. Where, whenever, but um, anyway, the matinee begins at uh, 0600 hours, military time. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh right, we're already here. I'm tired. Mm. I'm tired and there's no moisture left in my mouth. Um, <clears throat> I am going to get a glass of water. One second. Um, please, chat, uh, amuse yourselves. This is bad streaming, but good um, acting. It's just kind to your voice. <sighs> okay, I can breathe again. I can speak again. Um, I actually have moisture in my mouth because I've been speaking nonstop for, um, let's see, like an hour and 15 minutes. <sighs> Quince just left. <sighs> Did anything happen? Um, well, I was gone. Anything huge, earth shattering? Uh, Wait. Timeline. I missed it! Ah! <laughs> I have all the time I need! I have a time machine! God damn it! Um... <laughs> Re 
reset loop. I don't care. Uh, Philly will remember all the information she's learned, but everything else will reset. Um, <laughs> the game doesn't... Right! The game... Oh, God. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> no, I mean, I missed the staging of the murder of Gonzago in this timeline. Um, hmm. I mean, someone's probably going to get killed. Still. Um, unless somebody's already been killed. And I just missed it, but, uh, huh. Okay, announcements. Uh, like, there's no, like, indicator that anyone's dead, uh, as far as I know, but, hmm. Checking the future, okay. Oh, okay, a skull. Look for the skulls. Can... Claudius. Claudius died. <sighs> I guess we did see the murder of Gonzago. We did see the murder of Gonzago, so that was it. All right, we did it. So, yeah, I guess there's nothing to do, but, um... Uh, yeah, guess I'll die, dot gif. Whew. <sighs> live. Doing things live. It's, uh, it's a skill, and it's, uh, something that you need to adapt to. Ugh. <sighs> I think this is why so many podcasts are about, like, you know, big emotional breakdowns. <laughs> um, by the way, I think I need to announce my podcast uh, before the stream ends. But, you know, first things first, we need to die before I can do anything like that. Everyone left rather, everyone left rather hastily, it seems. <clears throat> that is our trigger. Everyone left rather hastily, it seems. <sighs> okay, this is where the this is where the death happens. This is where the happy death day to me occurs. Uh hi death from the Sims. <clears throat> okay, um actually, let's see, chat. Um can I get a request for a voice? Um just thinking of like a heavy metal singer, I don't know, Chester Bennington, um uh, Hetfield, uh, who's the lead singer of Metallica? <clears throat> Anyone, just, uh, just blur out any name, any name. Um, let's end it here on my death. Uh, just pick a name, any name. Hmm. Uh, is the chat going, or is just everyone typing at once? Um, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pick a thing. I said Metallica earlier. Uh, Eddie Vedder. I don't know what Eddie Vedder sounds like. I'm not that big of a metal, uh, fan. I'm, like, in classic metal. I'm just, I'm bad. I... Danzig. Uh... Hmm. Like, anyone. Singer. Uh, any... Any genre. Metal. Jazz. Uh, classical. Actors. Public figures. Uh, because I'm sick of doing the, uh, bleh thing. Angus Young. I don't know who that is. Uh, hmm. ACDC. Bowie. I can do Bowie. I can do Bowie. Boo! Oh. 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 Ground control to Major Tom. Lady Ophelia. I failed to stop it again. Help! Someone, please! Uh, uh, I'll get all that talk about me doing an impression and just, like, it's reduced to that. Oh my god. Okay, I guess canonically we're stuck with the, the, the bleh voice. Ugh. Damn it. A pace in someone's largest schemes. Try again. What's done can be undone, but then done again. Go home. Go play with your 
games and your Steam library. Try again. again. Killed? Put your little hand in mine. There ain't no hill or mountain we can't climb. All right, let's think about this a moment. I know I will be killed three days from now. Three days, dun dun dun. One midnight gone. That gives me time to stop it. And Hamlet should enter. People in the castle can protect me. Have to find them. At the same time, this assassin they can't defy their attack. Point. Must be someone who can help me root out this assassin's identity. I guess, like, that's the, uh, the main quest that we have to solve before we can start unlocking, like, I guess whatever this game, uh, considers an ending cutscene. I've come to dread the sight of my bed canopy. His death! I see it with my own eyes, and... The traitor is your own blood. Yes, what? yes. What? How did you... Hamlet, leave me be. I have things to do. Uh, anyway. Begin. Is there a hotkey for pause? Okay. So, let's go ahead and um, save and quit for now. Uh, that's been a heck of a stream. Uh, well, we killed Claudius and uh, no one else uh, that we know of. Um, I guess we'll, like, see final endings if we, um, you know, unlock our own, uh, death ending. Death undoing. Our own end to Happy Death Day. <laughs> Happy Death Day. Very good movie. Very good movie. Um, anyway, uh, that has been Streams Held High for this night. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the chat. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hopefully my, uh, voices were okay. My throat is a bit, uh, blah. Um, I'm out of words. Let us save and quit and see what we can do the next time around. Um, what's a good <laughs> Bowie pun I could make? Right, obviously. Come back next time on... Streams held high. I have been Kyle Calgren. My Kofi and Patreon links are below if you enjoyed the stream and want to support my work. By all means, follow me on Twitter on wherever I go, but you know, be cool about it. Um, and if you want to see the stream next time, it's going into walking. Fuck. I really need to go to bed. Mmm. <sighs> Next time, let's see what we can do to make ch 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 changes. There we go. Thank you. And good night. Uh.